1994. Wow. Ho ho ho! Yeah! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ho ho ho! I just made my day. Yes. Fish scale. It's looking pretty so, good. Diamond, Jordy, and I are in another undisclosed location. And uh, where he just got his Knox 800. His first day with it. There it is. Pretty hyped about that. And we're in the middle of an, what it was an old pier at one point. And he just got something big and green down in the hole. Let's go in and have a look at it. <sighs> Hoping it's not a washer, but it sure does look like a coin. Can I pull it out? Yeah. Go ahead. Oh yeah. That's a large scent, man. All day. Careful. It's all right. That is a large scent. He's crusty. But that is <laughs> definitely uh, LC. Sweet, man. I wonder what year it is. That's so cool. There you go. The Knox did it. So, I finally got my fishy here for this little trip. And uh, it came out of this hole right below the, uh, the Equinox there. So that is awesome. My first fishy in quite a while. So pretty happy about that. It was pretty funny. I had about 15 of these little kids around and watching me pull it out. Pressure was on and got a good one. Yeah. Nice. Fishy. That is awesome. Gaffle Bab's around here somewhere. He's been hard digging all night. And uh, roaming digger, he's borrowing my uh, Knox 800. I'm using this guy for the relics. I think it's the best machine I have. And uh, I was just digging down here and I got a couple chunks of uh, old tube come out of this hole. And... Right after that, I pulled it out and I kept on scanning more signals, more signals. There's so much junk up here, but I just got this guy right here. Look at that. Look at that. Looks like an old, old parachute gear or something like that or a pilot or something anyways he got his goggles on up here look at that super cool wow this place is so awesome and there's like bugs all over me right now but look at that beautiful hey everybody tidy hunter here <laughs> just going back to my because I forgot my digging pouch so um, put on another little hunt in a beautiful old uh, property one of the oldest properties in the town that I live in now um, well, I bought a house in and I'm um, out here with Roman Digger should be a good day they've people have found uh, well, Gaffelbab was out here with them uh, a while back, and they found mountain coins from the 30s and 40s. So, we're kind of on to the area. Um, Gaffelbab came through with the AT Max. 
So let's see how the see what I can scratch up with the Davis. Look over them. Wild roses here. It's just beautiful. Go all down here. Yeah, just a gorgeous spot. Sun, the beach, just super nice. Okay, well, we'll be back and grab my stuff and uh, check in with you in a bit. So, first hole here, and it's a 1945 Penny. Beautiful condition, too. Look at that. That's awesome. One hole, one coin. And about four holds later, another penny, 55, so 10 years later. Again, great condition. But we're really looking for some silver here. Inches down here, I nailed it with my digger. It's a silver in 1960. There it is. Young Elizabeth. Silver dime. Yeah, man. Right there. Awesome. Totally. And I got something here. I, I don't know what. All right, let's see what it is. Let's make sure I got nothing else in this hole here. I didn't. It was bringing up uh, very similar. Got to get out of here. It's just like so hot. So it's like freaking hot. We're trying to actually leave, but keep on running over coin signals. Where are you? Come on. No. no. Come on. Where is it? I don't think it's a coin. I would have seen it by now. Oh, there it is. Ah. 22. 20, <laughs> 22. False alarm. Digging yeah. somebody's plug, it looks like. I just dug this side. There was something right there. But there's something in here, I'm pretty sure. Let's check it out. That. Bump, there it is. And that is a George Silver Dime. Silver! That's mangled, so... I do have some spray, but... At this point, it doesn't really matter. I was hit by a mower or something. Silver number two. And that's a 40... Forty... Uh, I can see that. Come on. Wow, that's a mangled silver. That's a 43. Yeah. That was right in this plug right here. Somebody dug that, pulled the penny out, left the silver. Nice. Just, uh, just out here in a little bit of a delta zone here. And um, just pulled up this. You can tell just by the back there. It's an old super corroded pocket knife. That's been there for quite a while. That's sweet. I think it's like one of my first pocket knives like this that I've ever found. Okay, knock some of this stuff off of there. Corroded to cr corroded to Christmas. Anyways, look at that. Old pocket knife. Cool. Well, this is going to be a little bit of bonus footage for sure. Um, I've been down here on this beach today. Picked up a couple 40s pennies. But I'm here looking for one thing specifically. If there's a lot of wind here, I'm really sorry. And I've always wanted one of these. And I just dug it right there. It wasn't even deep at all. 
and I can't believe it, but this is what I came for here today. If you can see that, focus. I just got a three ringer. When they were drawing up the border here in the 1860s, there was an American and a British encampment on each side of the border. And look at that. I don't know if that's, that looks almost even dropped. That's a beauty and it was barely underground. Yeah, it's got a bit of a, it's looking pretty good, wow. A three ringer. That's amazing. I know you find them here and I found one. That is crazy. All right, well, a little bit of bonus footage. U.S. Civil War era bullet found in Canada, but yeah, those, that reflection you see right in the middle of the screen there, that is the border. All right, amazing. Thank you.